guys, it's Mike from GearsGunsAndGrub.com. Uh, today I wanted to try something different. And uh, instead of the normal posts that you guys have been reading and supporting, and I, I thank you very much for doing that, I thought I might add some videos into the mix and, and uh, see what you guys think of that and see if you like it. And if you do, let me know. And if you don't, let me know. And, uh, you know, we're all learning in this as we go. So I thought it would be fun to try something different. So today what I really thought we would talk about is uh, – what do you have in your pockets? What do you have in your pockets right now? Um, I've been looking into this a lot on the internet. And there's uh, some websites like everydaycarry.com and, and things, and people share what they carry every day, and they'll take pictures of it. They call it a pocket dump. And they get pretty artistic with how they lay things out on the table and, and take pictures of all their stuff. Uh, some of it's really cool. Other stuff is, is downright comical. I mean, uh, You'll look and there'll be 30, 40 things laid out on the table. And it's like, get real, bro. I mean, what are you, Batman? Do you have a bat belt? What's going on? There's no possible way that you're absolutely carrying this stuff on a daily basis. Uh, for me, what works is simple. Keep it simple, stupid. So just keep it simple. There's five things that I carry on a daily basis. And that's what I was going to show you today. So let's go through through those and... Uh, and maybe we'll all learn something about it. And, you know, if you think that there's something different, please let me know. But here we go. First thing I carry is a wallet, simple wallet. I like to keep it thin. I'm not George Costanza. I don't need to throw out my back or my hips or anything else. Keep it thin. But it's got to be good quality. Um, this one's actually made of a saddle grade leather. So hopefully with good care, it's going to last a lifetime. And that's what I'm looking for. Next thing I carry is a front. Uh, front pocket wallet and this one's a lot there it's made to you can see there with the profile it's just made to carry some cards uh, credit card driver's license concealed carry permit um, maybe a couple business cards and in the back it's got a little leather strap that's intended to carry some cash with you now, sometimes I'll just carry this and not my back uh, wallet you know if I'm going downtown there's an event some kind of festival there's a lot of people bumping into you and I don't want my wallet falling out. I don't want to have to worry about that stuff all the time. And uh, heaven forbid you, you're worried about somebody pickpocketing you. You know, it's, I'm not really ultra concerned about that, but I'm more worried about it falling out of my pocket. So front pocket, good option. Keep it small. Next thing, phone. Uh, unfortunately, in today's world, it seems like we can't live without these things. We're hooked in all the time. But it's a great tool. I uh, can get you out of trouble really quick. You know, find a map if you get lost, make a quick phone call, whatever. The other thing I tell you is phones are so expensive now. Everybody's got a case on their phone. I had a $20 bill in the back of there. You know, I usually don't carry cash. If I have a 20 hidden in here, I uh, forget about it. But in those emergencies, you're going to remember. Uh, it'll buy you some gas. It'll buy you, you know, a bottle of water and maybe something to eat. Uh, and hopefully just get you through, get you out of that pinch that you're in. Next thing's a good knife. Um, good pocket knife is just a great tool to have. Keep it sharp. Uh, I look for something that's uh, good quality. It's going to last for a long time. This happens to be a Kershaw. This is a Kershaw Cryo. Uh, this one was listed as one of the top and most affordable pocket knives that you can get. Uh, I love it. I mean, it, it, it's extremely sharp, all metal framework. The other thing I like about it is it has the uh, assisted flip uh, feature. So one hand functionality, if I, you know, if I want to use it for a tool, cut open a box, whatever. Um, I have been, you know, in martial arts all my life and uh, spent some time training on how to, to to fight with knives, heaven forbid that ever happened. But if I had to, I've got it. And the one handed assist certainly would help with that. So uh, it's a good tool to have as well. And finally, the last thing we'll have and, uh, is my gun. Now, this is something that there's people out there that aren't comfortable at all uh, even looking at guns. And, you know, heaven forbid, you know, they ever had to carry one. But, uh, and you know what, that's great. The, uh, because if, if you feel that way, you know, it's probably not for you, and, I, and it wouldn't be safe for you to, to have one. It wouldn't be safe for you. It wouldn't be safe for me or anybody else in the street for you to have one. And there's just some people with their opinions. on it. They don't need it, and I, I respect that. Um, but I am licensed. I'm trained to use one. I practice all the time. Uh, but I've got a lot of respect for what goes on and with, with carrying a firearm. So this is a tiny little one. Uh, this is my Ruger LCP. I don't know if you can see it good on camera. 
but it is a tiny little gun. It's great in the summertime if you're just wearing shorts or whatever, and uh, you're out for the day. You can throw this in your pocket. You wouldn't even know it was there. What I would tell you, though, is don't ever carry a gun just in your pocket without something guarding the trigger, whether it's a trigger guard, holster, or whatever. A uh, nice little you know, pocket holster that will even reduce the printing of the gun. Uh, good thing to have. You don't want things getting stuck in there. Now, this one isn't one that I would typically carry with me in the winter time right now, you know, wearing jeans, multiple layers, stuff. So what I would do in that case is I would I would pick a gun that had a little bit more capacity, a little bit bigger gun. Um, this one you can see has a Kydex uh, pocket holster to it. It's pretty unique. This one's made so that this hook right here, when it's in your front pocket and you draw the weapon, is going to stick in your pants. This is going to hook inside your pants. So that way, when when you draw, all that comes out is that weapon. You know, so you're totally ready and we're ready to go. But it's also going to be form fitted, and you can see there where it fits around the trigger. It's not going to allow things to snag up in that trigger and accidentally just discharge. So that's what uh, very important. The, one of the most important things you want to think about if you're going to be pocket carrying. And we'll go over another episode with different holster types and stuff like that. And uh, I actually make some holsters, so I'll show you a lot of different varieties of those. Um, but that's it. There, there's five things I carry every day. Uh, two wallets, phone, knife, and a gun. Um, so I like to keep it simple. That's it. But uh, I'd like to hear from you. You know, what is it that, that you carry? What do you think is, is right about my carry? What do you think is wrong about my carry? Um, Everybody's entitled to their opinion. We just got to be respectful, respectful folks. And, uh, uh, you know, let's keep it above board and keep everybody safe. What I really did want to do, though, is, is thank everybody again for, for visiting the page, for um, checking out my new Facebook page. You can find us now at, at, uh, on Facebook at Gears, Guns, and Grub. Make sure you hit like on that. And uh, we're going to be producing a lot more video content, and hopefully some stuff that you really like and, and, Get a lot of action out of that as well. We're just here to share information and learn from each other. I've been able to meet a lot of great people, um, see some really cool cars and, and really cool guns and all that stuff, and uh, have some great interviews lined up. I've already had some awesome ones, and uh, just super happy about the response I've gotten so far. So, so thank you again. Um, that's it, and and stay tuned for our, our next video coming up soon. So, thanks.